Hey guys, I'm back with a new video. Today I'm going to do a review of FC Goa vs Kerala Blast FC. I can't keep defending Kerala Blast FC. I just can't keep defending them. They played bad. And in the first half, I enjoyed them. In the second half, they didn't. They lost to anyone. You could have guessed by the start of the, you know, the start of the video. Like I would have been very happy. But now I'm depressed. I'm sad. I'm angry. We lost to anyone. So let's give you the game. Let's give you what happened in the game. So first of all, the game. You know, Goa scored the first goal in the thirtieth minute. Till then, Kerala played okay. Goa made a little mis not miss passes. So you know, they were not in the best chemistry. They didn't have the best chemistry. So they struggled a bit. So they couldn't get the ball where they needed. So Kerala got the ball a lot of time. What did Kerala do with those things? But they do with that advantage, they play miss pass all the time. And they get the ball, they go forward, but they make miss pass. That's just ruining the game. You just hope for one goal. I mean, for, I'm waiting for my first victory in the season, and I just can't see it. I'm hoping, like, please shoot. Please give him, give him, give him the ball, but they just don't score. Like I said, in the 10th second, the 10th minute, though, or to made a huge shot i didn't think it was gonna go in or anything like that but albino our goalkeeper was a little forward it almost went in and hit the post it hit the post so it didn't go in consider myself lucky there and in the 30th minute like i said angulo scored and yeah since then the game deteriorated so they scored again in the 52nd minute by ortis his first goal in the season his the second goal played a score this season angulo has been you know one man army but still and it's 2-0 now and we were hoping i was hoping to at least make a comeback because it was in the 52nd minute we had a lot of time and in the 90th minute we have vincent gomez scored our midfielder scored and gave us hope sad enough that hope was crushed just four minutes later in stoppage time by very very when I want to specify this very clearly, a very bad mistake from our goalkeeper Albino. And he has been getting abused on social media a lot, I've seen that, but it was a very bad mistake. He just didn't keep the he didn't keep the eye on the position or the ball, he just kept who was he just kept looking who was the farthest down the field so he could just give a goal kick there. But he didn't look at Angulo, he was right there. He took the ball when he just placed Albina placed the ball down and he scored and it was 3-1 and I was shook. Because it's that bad of a mistake. And Kerala had a lot of ups. Two wingers, like say. I really like both of them. It was good. But the MVP of Kerala's team has got to be our Malayali Rahul KP. He was so good. He played as a center midfielder, but he's a right winger. Right wing or left winger, he could play both. So he's kind of an all rounder. But makes him all rounder, like I said, what right makes him all rounder is that he runs up the field all the time when there's an attack. He puts in good crosses, but he comes back and defend. He does it well too. And he's not like a buff guy with a lot of sprinting speed. Like, he doesn't seem like he's. You know, he was one of the best players on the pitch right there, but he was. And he showed us size that has no matter in this game. Like, he's just like Messi, but this is like 500 times better than him, but still. Yeah. And with that, the game ended. But before that, our captain got red carded and he went out in the second minute of stoppage time in the second half. And that's the big. Down for us for the next game. We had to start our substitute uh, goal, uh, defender, so we haven't seen him yet. And let's just hope he gets back as soon as possible at the next game. I pray and I hope that we get a W. Till then, see you. Bye.